We are now joined via Zoom by the Director, Advocacy and Communication, Pharm Pharma Access, Pharma Sex Foundation, Dr. Olamide Okulaja. Uh, thank you, Doctor, for joining us. Quickly, could you say the name of your organization again? Uh, good morning. My name is Dr. Olamide Okulaja uh, from the Pharma Access Foundation. Okay, I, I almost modeled that. So we keep hearing about medical insurance on, you know, um, on, in the health sector. Why must it be now becoming a central discussion? So medical insurance basically is the ability for a group of people to pull together uh, funds um, to be able to prepay for services that they would access in the future. And if you look at the domestic resource mobilization for healthcare, apart from being able to provide funding through governments, one of the major ways that the international community has agreed is through insurance. And that is a way of pulling resources from the private sector and also the public sector to be able to pay for services going forward. Now, um, over the last couple of months, the government has expended a lot. In fact, uh, emptied their, their purses in trying to fight this COVID pandemic. And it is now time to see how we can raise funding through insurance uh, so that people do not go into catastrophic uh, events when accessing uh, health care. Uh, because, you know, the financial implications of health care is very huge. And um, it's also very expensive when it is paid for at the point of service. But with insurance, if there's some prepayment mechanism, then it reduces that financial catastrophe. Uh, you are known for your advocacy towards a business-like approach towards healthcare provision. How will that subsequently lead to a more accessible and affordable healthcare service for our growing population? I mean, in the past, when the government was very buoyant, you know, healthcare was sort of regarded as a free commodity. And of course, in several countries and across the world, um, the provision of quality healthcare service has been attributed to governments. However, as the economy has tightened and as resources are dwindling and, you know, the resources are finite, it is important to start looking at healthcare from a, a, a business angle rather than a social service, because then you get what you receive. Uh, you know, if something is social and if it's free, you, you are subject to whatever it is that is given to you. But when something, if you pay for a service, then you have the ability and the right to demand for quality. And that is one of the reasons why we say that healthcare needs to be seen in a business approach, because whatever you pay for is what you get. Again, if you look at the efficiency of it, um, systems become more efficient when they are business-like. But the opportunity for this is, of course, the medical insurance, because if you pay a small premium towards a large pool, and we have a lot of people contributing to the pool, then we can have that pool uh, paying for the services of people uh, at a quality level. It's the concept of solidarity, the concept of um, if I'm not ill today, then I can contribute to the payment of services of my brother who is ill today. And if I'm ill tomorrow, then my brother can contribute uh, to that also. So the, the whole principle of this is uh, the principle of solidarity, but also infusing some level of efficiency and effectiveness into the process. All right, Doctor, thank you very much for joining us on the news. We appreciate your time. Do quite brief. Thank you very much. You're welcome.